taking a look at the half a chance parong. The overall length on it is 19.5 inches. The weight is one pound and four ounces. Blade length on it is 14 inches. We have two models that are essentially the exact same thing. You've got the uh, chance in hell, which is your traditional machete style. Then you've got the half a chance. Now the chance in hell in my right hand doesn't have as much weight up there in the head. And so it's gonna be better for chopping brush and things like that, but if you're chopping wood, if you're really getting down um, into some thicker stuff, this weight in the head is gonna be really nice when you're swinging, giving it that uh, nice thunk when you hit the wood. The handle is uh, an over mold, and it's kinda of got this football texture on it. Check that out. One thing I like is you've got four, let's see, five different spots where you can hook in a lanyard. There is an included lanyard, so you're definitely gonna, gonna wanna throw the lanyard on there when you're using this. You can see that grip in my hand. It is very comfortable, very ergonomic. Now, it does come with a nylon sheath. Let me show you that as well. Slip it right in there. And that has three snaps. Just your regular metal snaps there. Bam, bam, and then this one, a little tight, and snap it in there. The belt loop on the back is kind of nice. You can either have it in this position where it's not gonna dangle very much or you've got, I'm gonna call it the dangly position here. You can connect it like this and when you're walking, it will move with your body. So you can see that two different positions, one sheath. Thanks for watching. There, it's Dean from Tiger Adventures. Today I'm gonna do a short video on the Ultimate Survival Technologies Paracuda FS. It has a three millimeter thick stainless steel blade, about 11 inches in length, uh, with a black oxide finish on the blade. On the back of the uh, Paracuda, it has saw teeth uh, for cutting limbs off of uh, trees if needed and also, um, of course, to be used as a machete. The handle has nine feet of paracord that's weaved around the handle and provides some uh, absorption um, when you're doing some striking on the wood. The machete, like I like to call it, um, has done lots of uh, chops into the wood very easily and off camera um, I was showing how it, it could also cut into it. Uh, I didn't want to do it on camera because then the um, camera actually gets a little bit of vibration. In it. it comes with a nylon sheath and also a magnesium fire starter and it works very well um, for striking and getting your fire going. The magnesium fire starter fits very well into this little pocket. I would suggest at some point that there needs to be some shot cord or something put around the, the fire starter and held onto the sheath because it, uh, it could fall out. Uh, it's very well made. The only thing that I recommend is if you are using this for anything heavy chopping, that you wear some, tor some type of glove uh, because in here um, where your finger is going to be, it could wear into your finger and, and cause blisters. It's a very well made cutting tool. Again, it's from Ultimate Survival Technologies. You can check it out at UST Brand.
This is the Compact Clear Path Machete. What I like about this blade is that it's dual sided. Really sharp edge on the bottom end here, cut through branches and vines, and a saw blade up top when I need to cut even larger sticks and limbs. Having a machete like this that has two tools built in is useful because we don't need to carry more than just one, thus cutting down our weight and allowing us to get further out into the field. The sheath is nice and rigid. It also has a belt loop to attach to my hip and my overnight bag. When using a machete or a saw, you're gonna need something with a real solid grip. So being able to have a good meaty handle like this, especially with this lanyard, it's gonna ensure that we have a solid handhold while we're using the tool. This is the Compact Clear Path Machete. The SCHF-48 Jethro Machete is forged from a single slab of tough, edge-retaining 3CR-13 stainless steel. A thick, full-tang spine drops to meet the razor-sharp 10-inch full-fine edge, forming a massive spear point capable of the toughest piercing tasks. Chop, baton, split and process raw material with ease due to the canted blade, large belly and forward-weighted center of gravity. A generous finger choil is provided for increased balance, leverage and control, making precision notching, slicing and cutting a snap. The rubberized TPE handle slabs are patterned to channel moisture away from the hand. Prevent hot spots and keep the blade under your full control at all times. Comfort is further enhanced by ergonomic finger contours, a palm matching spine side curve and handle end flares that ensure a positive grip during extended use. Front and rear lanyard holes allow cordage to be added for an additional level of security. To safely haul Jethro on your next adventure, snap the blade into its rugged black nylon fiber sheath. Further secure the knife in place using the hook and loop handle strap. Carry the SCH F48 on any belt or use the included strap with adjustable pad to sling the blade over your shoulder. Easily lash or strap the knife onto a pack using the plentiful array of grommets and slots. Designed for hard use in the backcountry, crafted from premium materials, and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCH F40. in hell machete this is a can onion design just a beautiful machete that works especially well the overall length on it is 17.8 inches the blade length is right at about 12 inches it's kind of your traditional machete shape 
got this rubberized grip on it, an overmold texture that kind of have a, has a uh, football pattern on it. So it grips, feels like a football when you grip it. And uh, very grippy. At the same time, you definitely want to make sure that's secure. So you've got a lanyard that is included with it and five different spots where you can uh, thread that lanyard through. Now notice how that fits in the hand. It's kind of different from a traditional machete. A traditional machete would come straight down in a straight line with the handle. This one's got this slight curve in it. And what that, that is going to do is when you're using it and you're swinging, you're going to get that much more leverage when you're chopping. The Chanson Hell machete has a nylon sheath that comes with it. This works very nicely. Just slide it in there. And uh, there are three snaps, metal snaps here on the nylon. Just push those in and one for the handle right there. And uh, that works very well. You'll notice on the back side here, you've got a belt loop and you can loop it right through there, carry it on your hip like so, or you can undo this Velcro and slip this out. And then you can drop that like that. And you've kind of got this belt loop that will dangle and move with your body rather than being rigid against your hip. The weight on this to keep in mind is one pound four ounces, so it's pretty light. Gonna be great for backpacking or throwing on a horse, throwing it in your go bag. This is a great piece from Ken Onion. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to visit our website. And thanks for This M48 Ops lineup is the M48 Ops Combat Machete. This massive combat weapon features an 11 and a half inches stainless steel blade that offers an unprecedented quarter inch thickness. A titanium electroplating process gives this blade a unique tactical finish that is both non-reflective and corrosion resistant. This hefty blade slices and stabs through even thick materials with ease, while the Contour G10 handle provides a slip free grip in any situation. From the rock solid full tang blade design to the military style reinforced molly sheet, this 17 and 3 quarter inch machete is tough as nails and built for decades of performance. This is the M48 Ops Combat Machete, only from United Cutlery. is the Gator Machete. It has an 18 inch long high carbon steel blade that works to clear anything in your path. The blade's precision grind helps you cut with ease, maximizing your efficiency. The spine of the blade is a heavy duty saw for handling larger tasks. Gerber's Gator Grip and the lanyard for your wrist will keep the machete secure at all times. A tough sheath keeps the blade protected when not in use. A must have tool when you're in the wilderness or your own backyard. This is the
SCMACH2 full tang machete. Imposing, versatile, and sharp as attack, the SCMACH2 boasts a massive overall length of 21 inches, sporting a 15 inch full tang fine edge blade. The SCMACH2 is fashioned from tough, edge retaining 3CR13 stainless steel. The razor sharp recurve edge toward the handle provides extra cutting power for fine tasks, while the balance of the blade makes large chopping and slicing jobs seem like child's play. The clip point with honed false edge gives you extra piercing power, while the black coated sawtooth spine makes this machete an amazingly versatile tool. Weighing in at only 16.8 ounces, the SCM ACH2 is excessively nimble for a machete of this size. Comfortable, shock-free use is made possible by the ergonomic one-piece TPE handle. Water-shedding grooves coupled with a swelled midsection, top-hand guard and flared butt protect your hands and extend use to any weather condition, while a lanyard hole is provided for additional safety. The SCM ACH2 is kept safe and ready for use in its rugged black reinforced nylon belt sheath with lower closure strap and upper snap key. A friend you can rely on when the going gets tough, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. This is take off and sell in the tens of thousands, but I was the one that saw the need. My customers wanted something that had a lot of chopping and cutting power that was a terrific beater that didn't cost very much. I said, how do I give them that? I'll give them a Kukri best based on a machete format. And look what this can do. I'll give it a pretty good shot and you can see the comparison. I'm going to try to cut his leg off just below the knee. Let's see how I do. cut through all the calf muscle. I broke the leg and severed it. Look at that.
from Gerber. The Versafix is a hybrid design combining the functionality of a camp knife and a machete. The robust blade is designed for cutting, chopping, and batoning tasks. The recurved blade geometry near the handle is optimized for whittling and cutting. The weight forward belly area of the blade is designed to handle path clearing and chopping with ease. The spine of the Versafix features jimping specifically designed for batoning, preventing your baton from glancing or slipping off of the blade. The textured, overmolded handle prevents slippage during wet or dry use. Full tank construction adds a balanced feel and strength to the handle. It's available in Versafix and Versafix Pro configurations. Upgrades to the Versafix Pro include a lightweight, skeletonized design with a chiseled finish and a quick-release sheath. The Pro Sheath uses a belt loop or lash tabs to mount to a pack. From the trail to the campsite,